Over the weekend, something we've all been waiting for has finally been leaked. Performance benchmarks for Apple's brand new A14 Bionic chip. Now this is extremely important for a couple of different reasons. First off, this exact chip is going into the iPad Air 4 and the iPhone 12 lineup, which are going to be released within the next couple of weeks. But the even bigger deal is that the A14 is being built on TSMC's brand new 5 nanometer chip making process, which is extremely efficient and more powerful than ever before. And by the way, it's the first 5 nanometer chip ever made. And one thing we know for sure is that this 5 nanometer tech is also going into Apple devices like the future iPad Pro, the rumored Apple TV refresh, and of course, the very first Apple Silicon Max, which this video is all about. Now before I get into what this means for Apple Silicon Max, I want to go through what Apple said about the A14 chip when they announced the iPad Air 4 and how that compares to the recently released leaks. Apple mentioned a 40% boost in CPU performance and a 30% improvement for graphics, but what's interesting is that this is actually compared to the previous generation iPad Air, which had the A12 chip and not the A13. So if we apply that 40% CPU improvement to the performance of the iPad Air 3, we should be getting around 3965 points in terms of multi-core performance in Geekbench 5. Now if we take a look at the A14 benchmarks that were leaked by Love to Dream on Twitter, it actually got a multi-core score of 4198 points quite a bit higher than what Apple is advertising. So it seems like Apple was actually understating the real performance gain, which is a really good sign. Now the even crazier part is that we also got leaks of the graphics performance and it's absolutely insane. The leaked benchmarks show a metal score of 12,571, which is actually higher than the incredibly high performance of the A12Z chip in the latest iPad Pro. Now this doesn't make any sense at all, because Apple themselves said that the A14 chip in the iPad Air 4 is 30% faster than the A12 chip in the iPad Air 3. But it seems like Apple was again completely understating the true performance. This kind of performance coming from a non-X chip is incredible, and if it's true, the future of Apple Silicon for the Mac is really promising. Now one last thing I want to mention about these leaked benchmarks is the incredible single core score of 1583 points. That's 256 points higher than the A13 Bionic chip, which was already faster than any Intel Mac out there. So it's really impressive. Now what's great about all of those performance leaks of the A14 chip is that we can actually use them to calculate the multi-core performance and the graphics performance of the higher end A14X chip going into the iPad Pro and the more improved Apple Silicon chips going into the Mac. In 2017, the iPad Pro's A10X chip was around 61% more powerful than the A10 Fusion chip in the iPhone 7. And then in 2018, the iPad Pro's A12X chip was around 71% more powerful than the A12 Bionic chip in the iPhone XS. So if we assume that the A14X chip is going to follow the same pattern, we can take an even more conservative 50% gain just to be safe and apply it to the leaked A14 performance of 4,198 points, which basically gives us a multi-core score of 6,297 points. This is an incredibly impressive score because that's how well the A14X can perform while inside of a super thin, fanless iPad Pro tablet, and it's getting close to the performance of the 2.3 GHz i9 8-core Intel CPU that's in the latest 16-inch MacBook Pro, which is much larger and has an active air cooling system. Now if you think that's crazy, it's about to get even better. Going from the A10 chip to the A10X, the graphics performance more than doubled, and then going from the A12 to the A12X, it more than doubled again. So if we take that leaked graphics score that we saw for the A14 chip and double it, we get over 25,000 points for Geekbench 5's Metal Graphics Test, 
which is just nuts. So if those leaked benchmarks and estimations turn out to be true, then that means that the A14X packing iPad Pro is gonna have faster graphics than the base 16-inch MacBook Pro with the 5300M graphics option. And if that doesn't blow your mind, let's get into the Apple Silicon Mac chips that Apple said are gonna be a completely new family of chips. This year, most leaks are pointing to the MacBook Air and the 13-inch MacBook Pro getting Apple Silicon first. And according to Bloomberg, the very first Apple Silicon Macs will get 12 core chips with eight high performance cores and four efficiency cores. The current iPad Pro's A12Z chip has eight cores, four high performance and four efficiency. So there's a chance that the A14X could actually be getting a 12 core chip, matching up to what Bloomberg was reporting. This basically means that the very first 13 inch MacBook Air could be getting a chip that's basically identical to the A14X, but simply rebranded with a different name to match up to the new family of chips. But to me, it actually seems absolutely overkill to pack a chip that powerful into the MacBook Air, since the graphics performance would be rivaling the current base 16 inch MacBook Pro. So I think there's a chance that we could instead be seeing a rebranded A14 chip from the iPhone 12, going into the first Apple Silicon Mac. And then on the other hand, the A14X like chip with 12 cores would instead be going into the very first 13 inch MacBook Pro, which makes a whole lot more sense to me. And those are just the very first chips going into the very first Apple Silicon Macs. Just imagine what's gonna happen next year when they release the 16 inch MacBook Pro with Apple Silicon and then eventually replace the 27 inch iMac with a new Apple Silicon model. Now on top of all of that, keep in mind that all of Apple's custom hardware accelerators are included in the Apple Silicon as well, like their HVC encoders and decoders, which greatly help with video editing. And then Apple also mentioned that the A14 Bionic is packing Apple's new 16 core neural engine, which is now twice as fast, as well as their second generation machine learning accelerators, which are actually now 10 times faster than before. And Apple even showed off the performance difference we should expect for machine learning tasks in one of their WWDC 2020 videos. So we're not only gonna be seeing a boost in raw performance, but we're also getting those custom accelerator chips in Apple Silicon as well, for the heavy lifting of certain workflows. And I personally have a feeling that the performance of the first Apple Silicon 13 inch MacBook is gonna be so good that even x86 apps running under Rosetta 2 emulation are gonna be faster than the current Intel chip in the MacBook Air can natively run x86 apps. So with that, those leaks are showing us that the future of Apple Silicon Macs is incredibly bright and we're all about to be blown away by how well they work, as well as saving battery life at the same time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and tap the like button and click the circle above to subscribe, and be sure to check out our new Zip hoodie right over there, or the other Apple Silicon video right up there, whatever it is. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.